some chair yoga today. So this type of yoga is really good for anyone who has difficulty getting on the floor or difficulty um, walking or standing or um, anybody with an injury. Okay, so all of you are in your chairs and uh, make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall. You want to try to keep the posture in the chair. So if you can sit up nice and tall, then you're going to get more out of the practice. Okay? So that's really good, Dorothy. I saw you sitting up a little bit taller in your chair. If you're in a harder chair, a more structured chair, it's a little bit easier to sit up tall. But if you're in a soft chair, that's okay. Um, and try to sit with your back against the back of your chair. That'll be easier. All right, now we're going to start to warm up the body. Is everybody ready to go? We're going to start with some neck work. So oftentimes our necks get stiff, so we need to make sure that we're really working through that stiffness in the body. So we're just going to tip our head down, bring your chin to your chest. And then slowly look up. So you're looking up at the sky now, a big stretch in the neck. And then back down. So just very gently to start with. Looking down and then looking up. Looking up at the sky. One more time. Chin to the chest and then look up. Very good. Now slowly come back to neutral and turn your head to the right. Now take your chin down to your shoulder, bring it back up, back to the center, and look to the left. And then chin down to the ch shoulder, chin back up, and back to the center. Very nice. All right, let's do that one more time. We're going to look to the right, then you're going to bring the chin to the shoulder, back up to the center, look forward, now look to the left, chin to the shoulder, chin up, back to the center. Now from here, we're going to take a little neck circle. So this is like a half circle with the neck, okay? So we're just going to circle the neck around, letting the neck roll on the shoulders, and then we're going to let it circle the other direction. See what I'm doing here? I'm just circling the neck. And if you're feeling some, you know, crunchiness in the neck or feeling some creaks in there, that's normal. Don't worry about it too much. Just keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep stretching it out. warming up the body here. Now we're going to take the circles the other direction, so up and back. Okay. So now we're going up and back with the neck. My neck is kind of stiff today. I actually slept kind of weird on my neck. So I'm really having to struggle with these neck circles. Now we're going to take full circles, big circles, all the way around. All the way around. See if you can take your whole circle with the head. And then let's switch directions. Go the other way. Big stretch from the neck. Big circles here. Hopefully it's feeling pretty good for your neck. If it's a little bit stressful, then that's okay too. Just do what you can. And then we're going to come back. Now from here, we're going to lean the head to the right, take our right hand up, and gently pull the neck to the right. So can you all use your hand to give your neck a little bit of a deeper stretch here? So you can grab hold of the head, pull the head over, back to the center, and let's go to the other side. So again, my neck is a little bit tight. I slept on it wrong last night. So I'm just going to go very gently in my neck on 
on the left side. Just pull it over. Just make it feel good. Whatever feels good. And slowly come back to the center. Now we're going to look down. We're going to take our hands behind our head. So getting into the shoulders now. That's it, Doris. Nice. Just like that, Doris. And then we're going to look down. Very good. And then we're going to come up. And we're going to look up. And come back. And we're going to look down one more time. And we're going to come back up. Look up. Bring them down. Now keep your hands where they are and see if you can just lean to the right. We're opening up the shoulders here. Back to the center. Lean to the left. Back to the center, lean to the right, stretching into the side body here. Very good. Back to the center, over to the right, and back to the center, and release. Very nice work. So good. All right, now we're going to start to work the shoulders. So we've worked the neck, we've started to open the shoulders a little bit by bringing the arms up. Now we're going to start to work through the shoulders a little bit. So we're going to just roll the right shoulder up and back. The right shoulder up and back. Up and back. A couple more times. Just roll it out. It should feel really good. And then left side. Up and back. Up and back. A couple more times. Up and back. Left side here. Good. Now we're going to take both shoulders up. circles, just whatever feels good to your body. Just feel it out. Do exactly what feels right. Okay. Oh, hey, Chica. Look, everybody. There's my little dog. Her name is Chica. She likes to come check out the videos while we're working. All right. She also likes to check out a squirrel that lives on the back deck. All right. So we're going to roll the right shoulder this time and then the left shoulder. Good. Now right. So I'm making like a figure eight shape here. I'm making an inside shape with my shoulders. Right, left, right, left. One more time. That's it. Really nice, Dorothy. Good job. Careful with that arm though, okay? Right, and left. Now, other direction, okay? So now we're going to go opposite. We've got to really train the brain here. The opposite shoulder here. Starting with the left side, moving into the right side. Stretch it out. See, I'm making like a figure eight shape with my shoulders. Y'all see what I'm doing? It's like an infinity sign with my shoulders. Very good. Now, we're going to get a little deeper into the shoulders. We're going to shrug both shoulders up. Shrug, shrug, shrug. And then pull them down away from the ears. Shrug the shoulders up and pull them down. Shrug them up and down and up and down. One more time. Big shrug here and down. Very nice. Now we're going to take big circles one more time. We've already done this, but we're going to make them bigger now. So we're going to take both shoulders up and back. Ooh, big shrug here. Up and back. Up and back. See how my shoulders are moving up and then back into like a circular? Yeah. Nice. One more time. Good job. And then we're going to go the other way. So now we're starting from the back and we're circling forward with the shoulders. Okay. Back. shoulders any way that feels good okay so whatever feels good to you you just move the shoulders so the shoulders are a little bit more open now so I want you to just feel what feels right to your body so you may want to move like this or you may want to just kind of move like this and just kind of shake it out or whatever feels
feels good to you. All right? Now, we're going to start working the arms a little bit, but before we do that, remember the neck is connected to the spine, and we've already worked the neck, and now we've rolled the shoulders. So we're going to take a little spine twist before we start working the arms, just because everything is connected, and so it's really nice to get the spine open a little bit before we start to move the full body, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our left hand to the outside of the right leg, and then you're going to take the right hand behind you. So you can hold on to your chair arm, or you can just put it behind you, and then you're just going to twist around. Twist around. You may not be able to go very deep here, that's okay, but if it feels good, keep twisting. You're trying to look over your right shoulder. So look over the right shoulder, so you're twisting both the neck and the spine. back to the center and around to the other side. So now we're taking the right hand to the outside of the left leg and then we're taking the neck and looking over the left shoulder. So you can do whatever you want with your left hand. You can hang on to your chair to get a deeper stretch or you can hold on to the chair arm. Okay, whatever works. Maybe touch your toes. See what happens when you try to touch your toes. And then slowly come up. Nice work, everybody. All right. Now, good job, Dorothy. Now we're going to reach up with our right arm. Right arm comes up. And then we're going to take a big stretch. Big stretch up. Stretch, 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 and reach. Like you're trying to reach the sky. Okay? And breathe. Very nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale down. Nice. All right. Left arm. Just reach, 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 reach to the sky. That's it, Dorothy. Just reach what you can. Move what you can with the arm. That's it, Dorothy. So good. Reach up. Big inhale. And then exhale. Bring it down. Nice. We're going to do that on each side one more time. So your right arm comes up like you're trying to reach for the sky. Reach, 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 and then slowly bring it back down. Very good. All right, and then left arm. Reach, 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 reach. Big breath in, inhale, and then exhale. Bring it back down. Now we're going to start to work the arms with the shoulder. So we're going to take arm circles. We're going to bring the right arm up, and then we're going to circle it around. And then we can start to connect it to the breath here. So we're going to inhale up. Exhale, circle. Inhale up. Exhale, circle. Inhale up. Exhale, circle. Very good. Inhale up. Exhale, circle. Very nice. Left arm, reach up. And circle. Big circles. Left arm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, big circles with the arms here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now both arms, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. That's it, General, just like that. Both arms, up you go, reach, 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 and exhale, bring it around. Two more times. Big circles here. Exhale down. We're starting to move our blood through the body now. So this is really good. Energizing blood flow. And down. Uh, very nice. Now we're just going to lean to the side, to the right side. Lean, 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 lean. Back to the center. Lean to the left. Back to the center. Lean to the right. Back to the center. Lean to the left. Doing a little bit of dog, dog yoga in our chair today. Lean to the right. And lean to the left. Very good. Nice. All right, now we're going to lean into that again. But this time you might want to be holding on to the chair as you bring the left arm up and over, leaning into it, getting a bigger stretch through the side body. Bring the left arm down. Hold your chair, your chair arm. 
and then right arm comes up and over. This one's a little bit easier when you have a cheer arm to work with. And notice I don't have a cheer arm, but you all do have cheer arms, so you can hang on to the cheer arm, and then you don't have to hold on so tight like I'm holding on up and over with the left. Bring it back down. Up and over with the right. Big lean. So you can lean onto your chair arms. I think all of you have chair arms, right? Sometimes it's a little bit easier. One more time. Left arm up and over. And bring it down. Right arm up and over. Very good. Now, let's lift the right arm up, and let's take some hand circles here. Hand circles around the wrists. We're taking big circles with the hands. I'm feeling some cracking and popping in my wrists, so see if you can work that out if you're feeling that. You can switch directions if it feels good. It's rolling the wrist, the wrist here, rolling the hand over the wrist. And I'm really feeling the tension in the body here. Now we're going to raise the left arm up. We're going to start to circle the hand over the wrist. And then we're going to switch directions. Switch directions. Very good. Feeling that hand coming down. Nice work, y'all. So good. All right, now we're going to try to touch the toes again. So we're going to reach down. We're going to touch the toes. Maybe I'll pet my little puppy if she comes back. Do you feel a little bit of that? Yeah. Try to touch your toes. Getting a nice stretch through the back here. Try to touch your toes. I'm watching. There you go. Nice. So good. Good job, Dora. So good. Yes. So if you're unable to touch the toes, it's okay. Just try. Just reach down, okay, and see what your body is allowing you to do today. You may be here, you may go a little lower, or maybe a little lower, and then maybe you can grab hold of your toes and drop your head. Slowly roll back up, really engaging through the belly here to get back up. Now notice that I don't have shoes on, right? Typically we don't do yoga in shoes, but if you need to wear your shoes, that's okay, or if you keep your house shoes on, that's fine. Um, but if you if you take your shoes off, then sometimes it's a little bit easier to do the footwork for your yoga practice, okay? All right, now from here, we're gonna work the shoulders a little bit more, okay? Now that our blood is flowing through the body a little bit more, we're going to take our arms out, make a big T, okay? Good job. And then we're just gonna lift the arms a little bit and then back down. Arms and back down. Almost like we're kind of floating and flying at the same time. Lift up, down, and up, down, and up, down, and up, and down. Now from here, we're going to try to bring the hands in. Okay, we're holding on to a ball. If we were holding on to something and we're pulling it in and then pulling it out. Do that. And in. Give yourself some resistance here. Pretend like you're moving through sand or jello with the arms. You keep the arms nice and strong. A couple more here. You can do it. Don't give up. I know the arms are feeling heavy, right? This is normal. And down. Now we're going to go up all the way. Now it's getting a little bit harder, right? And down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up. Two more. Exhale it out. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now let's rest the arms. The arms may be a little bit tired, so we're going to shake them out. Okay, you can roll the shoulders, shake the arms out, whatever feels good, okay? The next posture that we're going to work on is called cat-cow, and sometimes we do this in a tabletop position, but we're going to do it in our chair. 
pretty much anything in your yoga practice that you do on the floor, you can also modify for the chair, okay? That's the beauty of it. So we're going to bring the hands right to the knees, okay? We're going to inhale, we're going to pull the chest forward, and we're going to look up. Pull your shoulder blades apart, big inhale, and then on the exhale, press back, shoulders up, round the spine, pull your chin to your chest. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good, now keep going, we're going to do a few more of these, but I'm just going to turn to the side so that you can see exactly what I'm doing here, okay? So I'm inhaling, exhale. Rounding the spine. So really give your spinal mobility, spinal articulation, some of the extension here, and the flexion. So we really want to keep our spines nice and mobile. It's really important to the movement of the body. Keep the spine nice and open. Let's do two more. Okay. Inhale. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. Now remember, one of the most important parts of our yoga practice is the breath. And when we connect the movement with the breath, so like I was saying, inhale, exhale, that's yoga. That's basically what yoga means is connecting the breath, right, with the movement. Oh, she brought me a stuffed animal. We probably don't want to let her chew this up, so I'm going to set this aside for now. She likes to chew up my little boy stuffed animals, and he gets really upset, so we don't, we don't want her to do that. All right, so remember what I was saying about the breath? We want to connect the movement with the breath. So when I say inhale, usually it's when we're extending, okay, doing something long through the spine. And then when we exhale, usually it means we're kind of closing or we're coming out of something, okay? So you might want to just take a moment here and just take a little pause and just practice the breath. So in the nose, out the nose. Good, let's try it one more time. Big breath in, in the nose. Out the nose. Great job, y'all. All right. Now, that breath is really important because what we're going to do now is we're going to work it into a little bit of a flow. So we're going to flow through some movements, okay? So y'all follow along with me. A lot of these movements we've already done, we've already practiced, we've already warmed up for, but now we're going to sort of start to put things together into a little bit more of a flow so it'll be a little bit more exciting, okay? So are you ready to give it a try? Yeah? Are we ready? Yeah? Okay, here we go. All right. Arms up. Inhale. Arms up. Now, grab your left wrist. Exhale. Lean to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. So you're grabbing your right wrist now. Good. Inhale back to the center. Exhale down. Inhale, twist. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, back. Come down, touch your toes. Slowly start to come back up. And inhale, up. Exhale to the right. Keep going. We're going to do this a couple more times. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the center, exhale down. Inhale, twist to the right, exhale back. Follow your breath here. Inhale to the left, exhale back. Good. Take a big inhale and exhale, fold forward, touch your toes. Inhale, come back. Inhale, pause. Very nice. Inhale one more time with 
this flow. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale down. Inhale twist to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale back. Now inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very nice. Good work, everybody. All right. Now we're going to work the feet a little bit. Okay. We've done a lot with the arms, shoulders, the spine. Now we're going to work the legs and the feet. Okay. So first we're going to open up the feet a little bit here. So you can lift your right leg up a little bit, or you can leave it down. It's up to you. And you're just going to start to roll the foot. Okay, so we're trying to open up the ankle, just like we did with our hands earlier. Remember when we did this with the hands? Same thing with the foot. It's really important to keep the foot mobile. Okay, it helps with the walking. It helps with everything that we do in life, right? Our feet are so, so important. Now we're going to switch directions, going to the other side. So we're going to go to the left. But just switch directions. It doesn't really matter which side you start with. Just as long as you switch directions. Good. Keep going. Nice. All right. Now place the right foot down. Lift the left foot up. And then start to make your circles. So we're circling the foot. Opening up the ankle. Opening up the foot muscles. Very nice. And then we're coming back around to the other side. So now you're just switching directions, moving the foot. Try to move the foot, just circling the foot over that ankle. Very good. All right, and bring the foot down. Now lift the right foot up this time. See if you can lift the leg a little higher. Notice that's a little bit of a stretch. Try to do the hamstrings and the hips here. Then you're going to lower it back down. Then you're going to lift your left leg up and lower it back down. Lift up. Really good for the strength of the legs. Right leg and down. Left leg and down. Okay, right, down, left, down. One more. Right, left. Very good. Now we're going to connect it with the breath, okay? So we're going to inhale. Try to take both legs at the same time. It's going to be a little bit harder, okay? So we're going to lift both legs up and down. Very good, Dorothy. So good. All right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. It's getting a little bit harder, right? Exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Nice. All right. You can shake out your legs a little bit if you need to. You could even give yourself a little shiatsu massage if you want to. Yeah. Shake them out. And then we're actually going to start swimming with our legs a little bit. So it's going to get a little bit harder. Really going to start to move the blood now. Okay? So now that we know we can lift the legs up, okay, even if they're not all the way straight, that's okay. We're going to lift the legs up. Now we're going to point the toes. Ooh, big stretch of the foot. I feel that. And then flex the toes back. Point the toes. Flex the toes. Very nice. Point the toes. Flex the toes. Point. Two more. And flex. Feel that stretch through the feet. I can definitely feel it. Now flex and release. Take a little rest. Maybe shake them out. You might want to give yourself a little shiatsu massage here. Okay? All right. Now we're going to swim. So we're going to lift both legs up. 
You're trying to keep your spine long here, so try to sit up tall and lift your legs, okay? So we're trying not to lean back into the chair. It makes it a little bit more challenging, but I know you can do it. Now, point the toes forward if it feels okay, and then you're going to start swimming the legs. Swim, swim, swim. You know, just keep swimming, 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 like in Finding Dory. And her in Nemo, too, she sang that song, I think. So just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Good. That's it. Perfect. And rest. Whew, that was hard, right? I'm really feeling that in my leg muscles. All right, now we're going to start low, okay? So just let your feet come off the floor just a little bit. And you're going to start swimming up. See if you can straighten the legs while you swim. And then you're going to swim back down, okay? And then you're going to swim up, and then you're going to swim back down. Yeah, and then you're going to swim up, and then you're going to swim back down, swim up, swim back down. Very nice. Swim up, and swim down. Last one, swim up, and swim down. All right. Are you ready to put some arms into this movement? Okay, let's do it. I know you can do it. This one's going to be kind of hard, so get ready. You're going to lift both legs up, okay, and your arms. Legs and arms. Now we're going to start swimming. <coughs> Excuse me. Just start swimming, swimming, swimming. Keep swimming. I know it's a little bit hard. You can do it. I know you can do it. Swim, 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 swim. Try to breathe. Try not to hold your breath. Remember what the purple grape, or the green grape said to the purple grape. Breathe. Don't be a purple grape. Gotta breathe. Try not to hold the breath. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. You can do it for five, four, three, two, one. Oh, relax. Whew. All right. That's a lot of work, right? Now we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. Just one more time, okay? Remember when we swam with the legs coming down and then up? Now we're going to swim with the legs, but we're going to also swim with the arms, and we're going to try to move the arms at the same time, okay? So we're going to bring the legs back out. We're going to start swimming with the legs, just like we did before, but now we're going to start moving the arms up while we swim. So swimming up with the arms, and then back down with the arms. So this takes a little bit of coordination, right? You gotta think about what you're actually doing with your legs and your arms. So we're really working the blood flow through the arms here. Arms up, see if you can get your arms all the way up. Now we're starting to work in the shoulders a little bit. So we're moving the blood, we're getting the heart rate up, we're working the shoulders, we're working the strength of the legs, and so many great things are happening right now in the body, it's so hard. Keep going, one more time. One more time. You can do it all the way up and then back down. Very nice. Wow. Woo, take a little break. That was kind of hard, right? Did you think that one was hard? I thought it was a little bit hard. All right. Now we're going to get into the hips a little bit, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to try to lift your right leg up. Yep, there you go. And then see if you can cross it over the left leg. Some people like to sit like this, right? But this is a really good hip opener, okay? So what we're trying to do here is open up the hips. So take your right foot and see if you can press it toward your left leg, okay? I, sometimes I can wrap my foot behind. That's a little bit more challenging. You can try it if you want to. Those are called eagle legs. But you can also just try to press the foot against the left thigh. And then we're going to fold forward. We're going to fold into it here. Fold into it. You open up the hips. And then slowly come back up. Now, keeping the right leg up and over the left, we're going to take our spine twist again, okay? So now we're going to feel a different stretch through the hips. So remember that deep spine twist that we did at the beginning of class? Take your left hand to the outside of your right leg and twist around and notice if it feels different. Maybe you want to hang on to the left knee here. You're going to go deeper into your twist. You're looking over the right shoulder. Your left hand is crossing the legs, okay? And your hips Slowly come back around. Now we're going to twist to the other side, keeping the leg crossed. So twist to the left. Back 
to the center, and we're going to fold one more time. Hi, Chica. Maybe touch the toes. And slowly come back up. Now, we're going to see if we can raise both legs. Lift the foot off the floor. Keep them crossed if you can. Lift. There you go. And come back down. Now we're going to uncross the right leg. And then we're going to cross the left leg up and over. Okay? So you may need to take your hand and help cross the leg. You may need to lift it up. And that's okay if you need to use your hands a little bit there. No problem. But we want to get into the hips. So hopefully you're feeling a nice stretch here through the hips. Did y'all feel that? A little bit? Yeah? Okay, good. Now, you're going to get an even deeper stretch in the hips because we're going to start to fold forward now. And when you fold forward, you're really going to feel it into the hips. I actually feel it right here in my psoas muscle a little bit. So I'm going to fold forward, stretching through the back, stretching through the hips. Try to touch my toes again. So hard. And then come back up. And notice here that my foot is not touching my leg. But if I want to deepen the compression of the posture here, my joints, then I can take the left foot and press it against my right leg. Okay? It's a little bit more challenging, but you can try it. Now we're going to take our twist. We're going to take the right hand, cross it over, and we're going to try to touch the right knee. You can also just press into the left leg. Okay? So right hand to the right knee. And we're going to twist around. Big twist here. Slowly come back to the center and around to the other side. And back to the center. And we're going to fold forward one more time. Try to touch the toes again. Big stretch of the hips. And back up. Now we're going to try to lift the right foot off the floor. Very good. And down. Very nice, y'all. That was so good. Now you can uncross your legs and you can shake out your legs a little bit. Okay? All right. Now, see if you can scoot forward a little bit on your chair here. Can you scoot forward just a little bit so that you can come up onto your toes like this? We're going to work the feet a little bit more here. So. We're just coming up onto the toes, like a ballerina dancer, okay? And then we're going to roll down onto the balls of the feet and then roll back onto the heels and try to touch the heels of the floor. Now we're going to roll forward, back through the balls of the feet, lifting the heels up high, coming up onto the tippy toes. Roll back down, balls of the feet, all the way back down, heels down, and then back up back up onto the toes like a ballerina dancer. So this is not easy for me. I'm really feeling that stretch in my toes. But this is one of the reasons that having your shoes off can be really helpful for your yoga practice so that you can really get into the toes and get into the feet a little bit more. But you can still do it if you have your shoes on because you're just trying to come up onto the toes and then come back down to the heels. You're just working some foot mobility here. Remember how important the feet are? Bring the heels back down, and from here, remember you're sitting up nice and tall. You probably need to be a little bit out on the edge of your chair here, okay? Now we're going to try to pull the heels together to touch. Can you touch your heels together? See how my knees opened up? And then you can try to pull the knees back together. So when you pull the knees back together, you're really stretching through the inner thighs. Very good. And then you can bring them back out. show you what else you can do here. If you have a Pilates ball or if you want to order one so that you can have this for your home practice, they're only about $10. When you're doing this exercise, you can actually squeeze the ball. Now I'm really feeling that, okay? And then open it up. Do y'all see? And I'm, I've got a ball between my legs here, yeah? And I'm just really squeezing. But you don't have to have the ball here for this exercise, okay? It's not required. I'm just showing you what it would look like if you did have a ball. 
maybe I'll bring some up there the next time I come. I have brought them before. Y'all can try to see if you like this squeeze, but I'm really squeezing because I'm getting into my hip abductors, right? And it's also working my adductors, my inner thigh muscles. Really good exercise. So even if you don't have the ball, remember it doesn't matter. You're still working the body by pulling things in and then out. Very good. And in and out. Working through the hips here. And in and out. One more time. In and out. Good job. So good. All right, now we're going to turn the toes inward. Notice now how my knees are touching, and I'm trying to touch my big toe to my big toe here, okay? And now I'm going to try to open my knees without moving my feet. This one is really hard, okay? So I'm actually kind of working into the outer edges of my feet here. I'm pulling my knees open and then closed, kind of like a little clamshell. Open and close, open and close. Open, close, open, and close, open, and close, open, and close, two more, open, and close, one more, open, and close. Very nice. All right, now I'm going to sway my heels back behind my toes, and I'm just going to come up onto the tippy toes, and down, and up, and down. Straighten your legs, fold forward, 
and try to touch the toes. And then slowly come back up and shake out the legs. You can also do a different version of this. So you can try this one. I'll show it to you. You can lift the legs up, okay? If you can get your legs all the way up, then touch your toes. So lean forward. It's really hard. Really hard. Ah, oh, falling forward. I just tipped. All right, so you gotta be really careful um, not to tip, but it's fun to just try. So you can get your legs up. It takes a lot of strength. And then folding at the waist and trying to touch the toes without actually falling forward like I just did. You can try it and see. Good job. All right, now I want you to open up your legs a little bit wider. Open up your legs a little bit wider here, okay? And then we're gonna fold forward. So now we're stretching through the inner thighs a little bit more and through the hips. So we're gonna fold into it. So standing, okay? Y'all just watch, don't stand up. Standing, we call this goddess pose in yoga. Okay, so we're gonna do a chair version of our goddess pose. So we're just gonna sit in the chair. We're gonna stay here, okay? But we're gonna fold forward a little bit so that we can get a nice stretch through the hips and through the inner thighs. Fold into it, fold forward, let's breathe. I really feel this stretch through my outer hips. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Inhale, maybe drop your head this time. Exhale, good. Now slowly come back up, bring your hands to your legs. To the left. So right on the knees. Take an inhale. On your exhale, lean the right shoulder in. Right shoulder comes in. Big stretch through the back. I feel this. This is really nice. Back up. Over to the left. And up. To the right. We're going to do this two more times on each side. It's such a great stretch. To the left, to the right, big stretch here through the low back, to the left, to the right, and up, to the left, and up. Now we're going to take that twist again. This is like the third or fourth time we've done the twist. So now we're doing the twist with the legs open, okay? So the twist is going to feel even a little bit different this time, okay? So you're going to take the left hand to the outside of the right leg, hold on to the chair with the right arm, and then you're going to twist. Twist, 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 twist. Coming back to the center. I felt a little pop back there in my back, and then we're going to go to the other side. Right hand to the outside of the left leg. Hang on to the armchair or the back of the chair, and twist. Back into the center, folding one more time, trying to get the hands to the floor. See if you can touch the floor. There you go, Dorothy. So good. Nice. So I'm going to try to get my hands all the way to the floor here. I'm just going to fold into it, just breathe and relax. And then slowly come all the way up. Careful with dizziness here. And then bring the legs back in and come back into my seat. All right, let's take a little pause here for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Very nice, y'all. So good. All right, reach up. Big inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands to heart center. Very good. Now inhale, exhale, pack this back in. Open your heart, coming back up to the center. Exhale down. Nice. All right. We're going to do that flow. We're going to add on to it. One more time, okay, just a few movements here. It should feel really good with the shoulders. Everything's nice and open now in the body. So we've pretty much done a full body, gentle stretching, and a little bit of work for the hips. So 
So now we're just going to add on, and we're going to end with our flow here. So remember the breath, in the nose, out the nose, and remember to use your breath, one movement, one breath here in the flow, because that breath really gets the blood flowing through the body, and it's really helpful for you, okay? Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, very nice. Now inhale, reach up, press your palms, exhale, open for cactus. Press your chest forward, coming back to the center, press the palms, and exhale down. Now we're going to twist to the right, back to the center, twist to the left. The center, keeping the palms pressed together. We're going to open the heart, look up, big stretch. And we're going to bring the hands down, we're going to fold forward, feeling the stretch to the back. Now, from here, we're going to hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, the biggest spine twist yet. This is the closing one, okay? And we're going to twist ourselves over to the right for reverse prayer. Reverse prayer in our chair. Up and back. Twist, 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 twist. You could do it. Back through the center. Good. Let's do all that again to get to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, cactus open for the back bend, big cactus, open your heart, open your chest, good, bring the hands back to heart center, all the way back down, very nice, now twist to the right, back to the center, twist to the left, back to the center, folding forward, now we're going to take the right elbow, we're going to outside of the left leg, and we're going to open it up, big twist here, maybe look up and over toward the left shoulder, back to the center, I felt some popping in my back that time, one more time, touch the toes everybody, one more time, reach down, I'm already feeling more open, it's easier for me to touch my toes, I'm getting a nice big stretch, Nod your head yes, nod your head no, and slowly roll up, careful with dizziness, roll up slow, keep your eyes open, very nice y'all, alright, bring the hands to heart center and slow down now, take a little bit of breath work to close our practice, calming the heart, calming the nervous system, big inhale, exhale, open your mouth, Inhale. Exhale. Just take a moment here to just come to your breath. Notice how your body is feeling. Notice if your energy is feeling different as you move some of that energy into new places in the body. And just breathe, just focus, just concentrate. Slowing down the breath here. And reaching up. Thank you so much for joining me today. From the light in me to the light in you, from the love in me to the love in you. Namaste, yogis. So good to see you.